Hey guys, Captain here, bringing you the first episode of uh, instructions for how to build Lego Pokemon. Um, for those of you who have not seen, for a lot of the Pokemon, at least in the first few, I guess, episodes we could say of this, uh, I've had them built for a while and I have a video up somewhere else. Although I'll try and incorporate new ones uh, as time goes on. And uh, what better way to start than with the starters from first generation? So let's go in order, Venusaur first. As I've mentioned in the past, I'm not entirely satisfied with Venusaur's design, but it's good enough. Um, anyway, first thing you want is to start with the body. Just take a 4x2 green brick and then a 2x2 green brick, place them like such. And then take a 2x2 bumper and place it here. For legs, you're actually going to need to pull apart some sets of, uh, of green legs. Not all of mine are have like the green belt, I guess. But um, you know, as long as the leg itself is green, it'll be good enough. And uh, I'm 90% sure I made a video on alternate uses of minifigs where I kind of discussed the best way to pull legs apart. Just do it carefully and kind of maybe slide it a little bit. Um, in case I didn't, someone just give me a comment about that and I'll put it up or whatever. But I'm pretty sure it's it's somewhere on my channel. Maybe I'll link it. Anyway, you put a one by one green brick on one side like such, and then um, one of these little silver, silver like tooth pieces, tooth plate pieces, on the foot, and you make two like that for each side, and then just place them here, sticking the um, I don't know the other stud of the leg into the uh, two by four brick. All right, and now take a few of these little plant pieces like such and connect them with a green colored um, two by two plate, or sorry, two by one plate. Um, I'm pretty sure I have two of uh, like the, the right color green or just regular green, but I kind of wanted to mix up the color variation a little bit and then place them on the ends of the two by four brick. Next, take two 2x2 two two cylinder, brown cylinder pieces and stack them on top of each other. And then 4x4 four four worth of burgundy plates on top of that. And a little 2x2 two two yellow plate, a round plate. And that goes on top of here in the middle of the 2x4 brick. As for the head, take two of these double claw pieces. The ones that are, uh, I don't know how to describe it, I guess the... Vertical claws, the grab, the claws like this, not like this, like this, um, and place them on top of each other. On the one that's on top like this with studs facing out, put one of these. Actually, just put that on both ends. On the other end, it should be upside down. I don't really know how to describe it. It looks kind of briefcasey. And then here, put two by one worth of smooth plates. This is going to be the tongue. And on this side, put one of these little uh, hinges right here, a 2x1 green here, and then a 2x1 green smooth plate here. And bend it, and you've got a general mouth. And then you place it um, on here, and ta-da, Venusaur. Again, I'm not entirely satisfied with it, but it's... Not a horrible design. I'd like to revisit it someday when I have more pieces because my green piece collection is really generic. It's a lot of just vanilla plates and a small amount of bricks. But, um, you know, again, I think it still turned out all right. Charizard is a slightly more complex design, and again, I'm not entirely satisfied with it, but I think it turned out um, fine. It turned out pretty well, and there's only a small amount of improvements I would make. Anyway, starting with the legs, I want to make it look like this. So you take one, um, this is actually an orange minifigure head, although a one by one cylinder or even a one by one brick would work well too. Put one of these white uh, tooth pieces on the bottom, and then a um, one of these, I don't know, corner plates. I guess that's how I could describe it. Um, and make two of those, so you've got two legs. Then in the back, take a little flame, 
other types of flames will work too. I think this one looks a little better, but I know that um, the really long, tall flame is a lot more common. Take one of these uh, longer 3 by one brick slopes that's, uh, I think, 30 degrees. A little orange 2 by one plate or a grill on top of that. And then... 2x2 two two plate, and I attached the legs like such. Um, moving upwards in the body, take two of these bricks, it doesn't matter much what color, as long as they have a hole in them, put the little half pipe with the stud on the end in it, like such, and then a 2x1 smooth plate on it, Make two of those, and on top of that, put one two by two bumper piece. Again, color doesn't matter too much. Orange would be best, but gray will pretty much blend in just fine. And then put a two by one plate on top of that, and facing the other way, another two by one or two by two bumper. On the front, put a yellow plate like this. Oh yeah, yellow uh, bumper will work really well too. Um, a yellow 3x2 plate. On the back, we're gonna have the wings. These actually, these wings don't really look much like Charizard wings, but um, if you wanna make actual Charizard looking wings, you'll have to go to a lot more trouble, and most people can't notice the difference if they look at it just like that. Uh, so they're, they're basically just these glowy orange translucent wings with, uh, with some claw pieces. And place them like such. Have that go on top of there, and then a 2 by one plate of some sort below it. And then that goes in the front on our base. And finally for the upper body, we just take a orange minifigure body. Orange hands would be ideal, but you know, again, Sometimes I'm limited by the parts I have. Two 2x1 two orange plates, and then a, an orange stud. Connect them like such, put that on top. There you've got your head. Not fantastic, but it's good enough, and Charizard's iconic enough to where people recognize it pretty much right away. And finally, on to Blastoise. Blastoise was the first of the starter Pokemon that I designed, and it's also the design I'm most satisfied with. In fact, uh, I'd actually hardly change anything uh, if I were to remake it. And it's basically got three distinct chunks that it can be sp easily split into. First one is just um, on its front side. Take two of these smooth, um, kind of curved sloped pieces and put them onto in beige and put them onto a beige 2x4 plate. Uh, the next piece is going to be the body, and it's a lot similar to Venusaur as far as the legs go. Just uh, pull apart two sets of blue legs, and uh, frankly this was kind of inspired by the fact that long ago I accidentally broke one pair of blue legs, so it's just hanging over like that. Anyway, uh, put them, stick them into a white 4x1 brick, and on top of that stick a... Uh, white, or sorry, a blue jumper plate. Um, on top of that, put a Travis brick. And really doesn't matter what color. Um, black works just fine. I'm, yeah, it doesn't end up being visible, so. Uh, for the arms, just take a one by one brick, and then um, one of these hinge pieces. I don't know, the, uh, the hinge that, like, clicks, you know, with the different joints, um, and stick that onto the sides of the Travis brick. On top of that, put a 2 by one plate. And on top of that, this is kind of same idea as the Travis brick, but it's a 2 by one brick with the studs on the front and back side of the, um, the two length, and nothing on the side. Put that on top. There are, I know there's one thing that's basically just an individual version of this is one by one. Obviously, those will work just fine. Top of this, this is a slope. It's a two by one slope, but it's 45 degrees on both sides. Meets in the middle. In beige, put that 
right there. And for the top of the head, one of these hinge pieces, it's actually very similarly designed to Venusaur. A uh, two by one smooth plate here, two by one regular plate, and then two of these small uh, one by one 45 degree slopes. And stick that on top. And then the front piece we designed will go on top of that. It should stick into, I think, this little stud here. And then finally for the back side and the shell, take a 2x4 black piece. And, um, man, I should really learn piece descriptions before I start these. Um, these little pieces with the, uh, again, kind of brief KC, but with the ones where you can't, I don't know, the ones segmented into three pieces. Take one of those in blue, put them on the bottom, and three in brown, like such. And on the two ones facing on the sides, take some lightsaber hilts, put them on top, and then some one-by-one one gray cylinders. And those will be its uh, water cannons. Here, just stick a one-by-one one, uh, horizontal claw, and it'll function as the tail. And then on top of that, on the, uh, the third stud from the bottom, put a jumper plate of any color, and then on top of that we want to put a 3x3 three three parabola dish um, to make it stick well so it doesn't, so it actually fits. We need one stud of any kind to go um, in the middle. You know, I just had an abundance of green glowy studs, so that's what I used. And then that sticks onto the back. Um, i trying to remember exactly how it went. Okay, yeah, that sticks onto the back at the same plane, same level as the um, the front piece did. And there's Blastoise all complete. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give it a like, comment, subscribe, send this to your friends. Uh, check out my other ones. I've got lots of other uh, LEGO creations that I've built, including some Mario Kart stuff, and I'll have more Pokemon stuff in the future. Um... I guess it's about it. Maybe if you have requests for more Pokemon ideas, I'll try my best to see if I can, if I can build them. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys next time.